Hi Gemini, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm going to be doing your September 2017 monthly general reading. This is for the sign of Gemini. Here we have a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Here we have happiness. This is like content. This is, um, this can be a gathering. It can mean so many different things. This is happiness, okay? Happiness and love. This is family, okay? This is leaving something behind. And this is strength, okay? Strength, inner strength, wisdom, grace. So we're going to get a bunch more cards to go with that. Well, looks like there's an unexpected choice in love, Gemini, if that hasn't happened already. Maybe you have somebody coming in or something that you are going to be very, very emotionally attracted to that you aren't going to be able to resist. So I'm not sure what it is, but that's right here. Um... And the thing is, is that you intended to go in one direction, but you just can't, okay? Now, this doesn't have to be a partnership. I mean, this doesn't. This can be between you and your child, or you and your a family member. This can be between you and anybody. It can be between a lover, but you have an unexpected choice where all of a sudden, you know, you were planning and going in one direction, but your gut says that you can't, okay? So that's what this is. So this is this is moving forward, moving on though, because there's there's something that's holding you back, all right, and it's causing it's there's some heartache connected to whatever you're carrying around. There's been conflicts that could be with a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. This is for the sign of Gemini, um, but I you know it could be. Your new partner could be over, you know, your new partner could be a Scorpio, Scorpio, Pisces, or Gemini. But I, I don't know. We have this heartache here, which is also connected to an earth sign, which is Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. But it's also connected to the, to the water sign. So, could be either one. I think that there could be some, unfortunately, there's, there could be some kind of breakup. Okay, because usually this is a commitment up here, but underneath with this, and I don't do reverse, I take the messages, so I, I, I'm fine with this. Um, I think there could be some kind of breakup that, you know, because there's been a lot of conflicts, there's been a lot of tension that causes heartache and might affect your, your family, it might affect your family life, you know, but there's a lot of heaviness. It's, there's been a lot of heaviness taken on because of it, all right? And there's a lot of fear right here. There's fear, fear of the unknown because you know there's something going on that you don't know what it is, okay? There's something going on, and you know it, and there is. So you're right about that, all right? Again, this is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and this is leaving something behind, sneaky, you know, in the middle of the night, just leaving something behind, just, there's some sneakiness. And it's not really, I mean, it doesn't have to be sneakiness, but it's, 
without saying goodbye. This is about doing the right thing for you. All right, making it final. So maybe it's somebody you're just emotionally connected to right now and you're leaving that emotion behind. You're just like, you want cold turkey? Done. Because it's a final decision that brings you justice. And it takes inner strength to do that. It does. But it leads to your wishes being fulfilled and you put yourself in the driver's seat you put yourself in, and it's a victory okay it's a victory because you find what you're looking for seriously you find what you're looking for so this is the month of September I think you're releasing an emotional attachment and an emotional burden. Okay? That's what I think you're doing the month of September. And you're moving in the right direction very, very quickly towards your unexpected choice in love. Could be a Libra. Could, I think you're leaving behind somebody who has a lot of water in their chart. All right. Could be an earth sign. But man, there's something going on behind the scenes. That's for sure. That you know. You know, but you don't know. You know there's something going on, but you just don't know what it is. And with this Ten of Wands and this Eight of Cups, there's a good chance you are going to release it. Whatever it is. Cold turkey. Now we have cancer several times, the sign of cancer in this reading. Somebody who is a cancer, we have Pisces and Scorpio too quite a bit, but cancer we have the most. Okay, so just so you know, let's keep going. Well, never speak too fast, I do that quite often. Um, but anyway, this is, um, we do have fire and we do have um, earth signs as well. This right here is a very vibrant, exciting energy. Okay, it's a lot of excitement. It's also very attractive. Okay. This right here is kind of like staying 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 behind, you know, but not but not really being behind, being out there but hiding. Okay, kind of like shy. So Perhaps you need to add a little bit more vibrancy and not be so shy, okay? Because this is this is um, a fawn and she hides. The fawn hides because she's shy. She, you know, you wanna you wanna be a little bit, take a little bit more action. Try not to be so shy. Um, I mean, you have the chariot twice. That's putting yourself in the driver's seat, mastering your emotions, moving forward, 
making a change. It is. It's a, it's a big, big change in your life that leads to the world card. When the world comes up, it means that you have mastered something and you're about to start a new chapter. And I think it's something that you have been thinking about for a while. Perhaps it's something that you have been praying for, a new chapter, a new life. Okay? But I do see that you, I think that something has to be, something has to be left behind. I don't like to give that message, but that's what I see. All right, and it leads to your wishes be, being fulfilled with somebody that isn't your usual type. All right, so in September, maybe you're really, really contemplating. That's what you're, con this is contemplation right here. Maybe you're really, really com contemplating taking action, you know, and stepping outside of your comfort zone because you're looking for more excitement. You're looking for passion. Okay, and you're just ready to start something brand new. You're ready to start something brand new. So I think that this is about you mastering your emotions and putting yourself in the driver's seat and saying, you know what? I'm going to do what I want to do. And I'm going to go do it right now. So get out of the way. That's what this is. And when you do that, you master something. Seriously, with the world card. You start a brand new phase of your life, and it's a good one. Okay, but it does make you step outside of your comfort zone. Comfort zone. So I think the month of September is contemplating the change. And starting to put yourself in the driver's seat. And it's pretty much throughout the whole month. Because this is the driver's seat, and this is the driver's seat. And you got up here and you got it up here. So I think the whole month you're like <laughs> moving forward pretty quickly. Take it, you know, like got the got your uh, uh, foot on the gas. I was gonna say pedal to the metal, but not quite. I think you got your foot on the gas. We're getting you one of my vintage wisdom oracle cards. Ooh, perfect. And one of my whispers of love. Strength. Yes, it does. That's what it takes. And courage, even though it doesn't say that. Listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said to you. But... You need to listen with a loving heart. Hmm, interesting. Strength. Depicted here is a vintage starlet, a portrayal of feminine strength in action as she holds the symbolic weight of the world on her shoulders. <laughs> yes, she does. Like that underneath. The twelve suns above her head represent cosmic power and illumination. Her proud and naked form, scantily draped in a sheer veil, is surrounded by delicate dragonflies. As creatures of lakes and ponds, dragon, dragonflies symbolize the unconscious mind, water, and yin, the female, the female principle of the universe. Great emphasis is often placed on physical strength because, of, because it is tangible and easy to measure, whether, whether in the form of pow, prowess, stature, statu, status, sorry, or worldly power, Learning to discern, discern the authentic nature of strength is part of our awakening as spiritual beings. The cultivation takes time and effort, and the measure of it might not always be obvious to the outside world. In earthly terms, strength can be developed through willingness to embrace life's lessons while using them as a means to gain insight and wisdom. This card invites you to evaluate the role strength plays in your life and how it manifests in you. The quality of strength you have directly depends on whether you are aligned to the ego or the higher power. Notice your intentions and what motivates the call for strength. Perhaps you need a need 
Perhaps you feel a need to prove yourself, or maybe you need to make wise decisions and stand firm. Sometimes life calls us to take a direct route to discover the real nature of strength. Whatever your needs, be open to strength's dynamic energy and use it wisely. In the face of adversity, remember the wonder wonderful words of Philip Brooks. I do not pray for a lighter load, but I pray for a stronger back. Yeah, and the next one, listen with your heart. That's number one. That must mean something. You are listening to what is being said to you, but need to listen with a loving heart. The opportunity is here for you to try a loving perspective to the situation. It is easy... It is easy to get wrapped up in the words that are being said, but what does your heart say about the situation? It knows the truth. Trust that. Sit still, take a deep breath, and ask your heart what you need to know. That is your September 2017. Love readings on the way.